everybody welcome back I know it's been a little while since I've been on here and I apologize for that uh, things have been really hectic um, some of you may or may not know we're in the process of a uh, move so it's it's just proving to be very difficult to to find the time to to get on here but I did want to update you for those of you who are interested <clears throat> I'm following the 52 week challenge um, by Ann Brooks here on YouTube, and I'll put her um, link to her channel in the description box below. We're doing a um, slow stitch tag per one per week um, for this year. So I jumped in. Um, I was a few weeks late joining, but um, I was I managed to catch up. But I thought, well, I've shared tags one through four in a previous video so I am behind but I'll uh, very quickly just go through all of the tags again. Um, this The first one was white, week one was white, week two was a heart, and then week three was scrappy. Now I um, <laughs> I went off on my own thing because the I knew I was not going to have time to do the um, her example, which is absolutely phenomenal. I hope at some point to actually do that technique, so do check her out. Uh, so I just went off and did my own thing. Um, so you know, from time to time, I may tweak it slightly if it if I know that it's. Um, something that's too advanced for me or I'm not going to have time because I just want to be part of the challenge and I, I don't want to stress over things. Uh, week four, this is fly stitch and um, these are all new stitches to me. I would say um, I have no experience in embroidery whatsoever so this is this has been a lot of fun um, and I did pick up, let me just grab it, I picked up a new book I went ahead and picked myself up this, um, and this is just a great little um, reference book. And it's the it's not as good as watching um, videos, but I just think it's going to be nice to have if I'm in a situation where I can't refer to um, a video, just to have this. Um, like I said, you got to kind of get your head around it. But I'm hoping it's going to get easier the more I get into it. So, yeah, I'm pleased with that little book. So, anyways, um, so that was week four. And then week five is Kisses. Um, and I just, I really love how this came out. This was some um, fabric that was gifted to me by um, Heidi. Thank you, Heidi. Um, I finally let loose and used it. I love that fabric so much. I've been hoarding it um, since my friendship challenge. <laughs> and then I thought, oh, this is so pretty. Um, so yeah, you know, it's not everything, like I said, it's, it's, it's all a work in progress because this is all new to me, but I'm really enjoying it. Now this one was not a week. This was just me practicing um, with the French knot and then the fly stitch. So this was, I named this just because. Um, so that wasn't part of it, but I wanted to um, practice some of these. Now this is week six, and I don't know. That might be my favorite. Difficult to say, but I'm loving the colors on that one. And so week six was buttons. And then, um, you know what, I should have wrote down... Well, it's a French knot, and I suppose that's just the fly stitch, just only, you know, not taking it all the way down. I should have written on there. Or maybe it's just like a, a genus stitch. I don't know. <laughs> Who knows? You may, I make these things up as I go along. <laughs> if I can't uh, think of what the actual thing is, I just come up with anything, you know. <laughs> um, 
This was week seven, which is hexes, and this is completely new for me. Now, this technique um, was referenced back to Loretta, Loretta um, who is Sparrow Hawk Design. I believe that's her her username. She's got a channel here, and so um, she um, and had gotten this technique from Loretta, so um, I just went with it, and then I added the little bee charm that, um, now that I was gifted as well, isn't that just beautiful? It just sits there, and then I put queen bee, I stamped that, and then I did another fly stitch, and then you can see some of the uh, French knots. Mm. Oh, the, you know, <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> and this was uh, week eight, which is French French knots, bullion knots, and pistol stitch. Um, and the inspiration, um, there was a, uh, gosh, who was it? Oh, I wish I would have thought of her name. The inspiration by this was one of the other gals that... Um, is part of this as well, and I loved her um, tag so much. I thought, oh, I'm going to give it a try, and mine's not nearly as pretty as hers, but I'm happy with it. You know, little by little, I'm getting there. And then um, this was week nine, which is bits and pieces gifted to me, and this bingo card that was stamped that was gifted to me from Laura at the Papered Soul. She was like my second swap partner I ever had and uh, she sent me some beautiful images that were um, that she stamped out and so I put that and combined it with this little bit of fabric that was a, a gift to me from Carol Laws. Thank you Carol. And then I just um, add a little tag there and then this was some lace that I had uh, been given during my friendship challenge and then I just added as you can see the little French knots and some of them you know I'm still working on that and then I just did the little crosses with the French knot in there as well but I like the colors in that one I'm very happy with that I just don't know why some of my French knots are still some of them are tight and some of them are loose <laughs> Uh, okay, and then this is week 10, which is yo-yo and lace. And then, okay, so here's the thing with this one. This is some vintage uh, fabric I purchased off of Etsy. And then this lace, love that. Okay, so with my yo-yo's uh, too tight, and I can't take it off now, but I was looking at everybody else's, and I was like, what's wrong with mine? I started with a really nice big piece of fabric, but because I scrunched it up so much, it's come in so tight. But And then I just did some more of the, this is the double fly, I believe that's what they call it, or fat, mm, I think it's the double fly, wait, sorry, I'm confusing myself here. Or maybe it's the double feather. Mm, I don't know. I have to look that up. But I just wanted to practice that. And I felt like it needed to pull the greens out. But yeah, that I wish I could take that off and redo. But it's glued on and I don't want to be bothered with it. But you know, I guess this is the thing. You just kind of, um, hopefully, each week I'll start to see um, a bit more progress in... Um, some of these techniques but I'm really enjoying this this has been really fun because it's just been something just purely for enjoyment's sake and um, so yeah that's been a lot of fun a lot of fun to do so I just wanted to catch you guys up with that I'm now caught up through week 10 and like I said there's a couple extras in here that are part of the challenge but actually there may only be one yeah, there is only one extra, and that was that one, but that's okay. Um, if, I, if it gets too big, I'll pull it out, um, but I just uh, wanted to keep practicing. So anyways, guys, I wanted to catch that up um, because I'm falling behind anything else. Hmm, I don't think so. I had started, in low, I believe... I believe maybe last year and did a... Um, 
slow stitch book and I've managed to get the base of the book put together which is purely just like the batting <laughs> but I got that together and then I thought you know what I'm getting myself as I always do I obsess and I'm getting too many things going now so I've just kind of put that on the back burner but it is ready the base of it's ready for whenever I get my uh, fabrics gathered and uh, have a bit more time but I thought I'm taking on too much so I better just stick with this for the time being and practice my stitches um, now that I've got my book I'll sit hopefully in the evening and start um, practicing some of these because boy you can see there's a lot to learn I cannot believe how many stitches there are but it's exciting it's it's fun I don't know I'm at a different point in my life now where I feel like maybe I am ready to um, to start work because I love the um, the fabrics and the stitching so much uh, next to the journal making I I kind of just you know come to the conclusion that the mixed media I'm kind of backing off from um, I just not enjoying it at this point in time and I like the idea of this because I don't have to have very many supplies I can just take it with me when I'm you know out and about and I can mess around with it but I'm really enjoying it I hope I get better at it I um I know there's a lot to work on with it but anyways guys that's really um, what's been going on. I mean, I've got a couple of projects, and of course I'm always working on um, journals. I've got custom orders that I'm completing, but as far as um, things here, it's, it's more that my personal life's just kind of taken over um, with, with other things, but hopefully things will get back to normal soon. Um, so I hope you guys are all well, and uh, I haven't forgotten you. I haven't at all, um, and I do hope to get back here very soon um, with a tutorial um, that we can make something together um, paper craft wise I, I don't feel skilled enough to, to try to show you any of these. I, I, I'm just like, no, I'm not even going to attempt that because I'm so... Um, you know, I'm just at the learning stage myself, so it, it would have to be something paper craft. But I, ha I have a couple of things in mind, so hopefully, uh, things, the minute things kind of settle down here, I'll be back with some tutorials. Stay safe, guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.